<laughs> Unlike most Half-Life mods, or really most mods at all, Minerva compares quality-wise pretty solidly with the original Half-Life game. Minerva is an awesome single-player experience. There are two parts available to download right now, and hopefully even more are going to come out in the future. The best part of Minerva is the map quality, which is simply amazing. The first part of the game has you wandering through an island, and though it's set up in a linear fashion, it gives you the sense that you can approach it however you want. You can go back and you can see the destruction you've caused, occasionally there are multiple pathways, and while, you know, it is linear, it gives you the sense that you have a vague aspect of control in the situation. The storyline tells a different story, and though it steals a little bit from the Marathon series, it expands on the Half-Life 2 universe in a great way. The mod has an excellent sense of direction, and it's definitely worth checking out. Four. The Hidden Source is possibly my favorite mod of all time. I've spent countless hours, both at LANs and online, playing the mod, sitting on the edge of my chair, biting my fingernails, and yes, occasionally glancing behind me. The hidden source scares the absolute hell out of me, and it's perhaps the most intense and involving multiplayer experience I've ever had. The basic idea of the mod is that one person is the hidden, who is a mutated guy with some impressive knife skills and a few pipe bombs to boot. The kicker is, he's almost invisible to the naked eye. It's everyone else's responsibility to hunt him down and kill him, while of course trying their darndest not to get killed themselves. Because of its fairly unique mechanics, Hidden Source emphasizes everything that online gaming should be about. It's very, very gripping. It'll have you shooting at every single movement you see, keeping you right on edge. It also emphasizes team play, because going rogue and trying to find the hidden alone is a suicide mission. More than that though, it's addictive, it's interesting, it's balanced, and above everything, it's a lot of fun. Hidden Source is one of the most worthy mods around at the moment. If you're looking for high octane multiplayer action gaming, then the Hidden Source is very hard to beat. As a kid, I spent a whole load of time around at my mate's place, and it wasn't the top barbecue dinner that kept me coming back. It was because of one game and one mission. That game been Goldeneye on the Nintendo 64, and that mission meant to piss my mate off as much as possible by rigging up entire levels with proximity grenades. I can scarcely remember having more fun fragging, and now I can relive those days thanks to the Goldeneye Source team who have brought this classic game to life on the Source engine. The remake is faithful to the original, but improved and modernised in every area and aspect that it can be, with sweet graphics in place, jumping and faster gameplay, basically everything the original lacked. It's quick, it's crazy and it's instantly fun, and that's why it's uh, one mod that we certainly recommend everyone checks out. In a time of war, soldiers stay and fight together. It would be suicide to run and get on the streets alone. And yet, every war game places little emphasis on the need for teamwork and survival. The reason why is simple. The more you push realism and teamwork on a player, the more it seems the fun factor is lost. The Project Reality Ma team, however, has stepped up and are turning this mentality around. Like many of the Battlefield 2 mods made, this is another amazingly polished and well-researched game. The difference from Battlefield 2 is instantly noticeable, and you'll sweat out every second, as the first for survival and glory begins. Mod of the Year. To mod for the Battlefield series, 
especially as EA Games and DICE continues to provide absolutely no support to the community, is one daunting task. Creating a modern day multiplayer battlefield out of it that is even better than the original game is something else. Point of Existence 2, a sequel to the earlier Battlefield Vietnam mode, throws you into the midst of a reality inspired conflict over the disputed lands of Belarus. With a focus more centralised on team based tactics and gameplay strategies, working alongside your German or Ukrainian allies is an absolute must. What makes this mod work is that everything is very, very tightly planned. The storyline, while interesting, doesn't play too heavily into the battles you're engaging in, but at least there's a strong context for what you're doing. Each team is well balanced against one another, leaving no one with an unfair advantage, and everyone with a variety of attack styles. There's a truly epic feeling to this mod, whether it be from the professional quality visuals, or the intense battles. Point of Existence 2 is consistently impressive. Feels like you're in a war zone, feels like brutal conflict, and is especially deserving of this year's Mod of the Year.